welcome dear viewers so in this episode we are looking at question 17 from the 2020 mathematics paper one so question 17 leads in the diagram below a b c and d lie on the circumference of the circle center o given that Angle BAD equals 47 degrees and angle DBC equals 28 degrees. Calculate A angle BOD, a B angle OBD, then C angle BDC. So for you to follow me along, let me just zoom in the uh, circle so that we are able to see exactly what is going on so the first thing that we can do for us is to find the angles that we can find using the 80 properties of a circle so under the circle theorem so what we know is the first principle that we are going to use is the fact that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference so if this angle is 47 so this angle should be 47 multiplied by 2, which is basically 94. So if that's the case, we can also use the same principle to find this angle. Okay, this angle, because we found that the principle, the fact that the complete circle adds up to 360. So it's 360 minus uh, basically 94. This gives us basically 266. So the angle this side should be 266. Then, if you know this angle is 266, you can use the, the same principle that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference to find this angle. Because this angle is at, at the circumference while this one is at the center. So this angle should be basically half of 266, which is 2 into 2 is 1, 2 into 6 is 3, 2 into 6 is 3, so 133. Then, because we know that a complete triangle adds up to 180, so we can find this angle, which we shall call Y, this angle to be basically uh, 133 plus 28, which is this angle we know this side, then plus Y must equal to 180. Then when we sum 133 plus 128, or 133 plus 28, we get uh, basically 162 plus y is equal to 180. So y is equal to basically 180 minus 162, which is basically the difference is basically equal to 18. So y is basically 18 degrees. Then having found what y is, we can also find these angles because these two are equal. Why are they equal? Because they are radius. They are all starting from the circumference, then touching this, the center with a straight line. So if we, one angle is 99, the missing angle is basically, which we shall call this angle to be x and this angle to be x. So it's x plus x, which is basically 2x. So it's 2x plus 94 equals 180. So 2x is equal to 180 minus 94. Then when this one crosses this one, we get 86. Then we divide by 2, we divide by 2. So x is equal to basically 43. Then we have found the possible angles that we can find in this case. Let us go now to the questions. So question A is asking us to find angle B O D. B from B to O then D. We've already found that angle to be 94, which is 94 degrees. Okay, then our uh, angle O B D. Angle O from O to B then D. So it's this angle which is here. So this angle is basically uh, we just from find, finding X. So this angle is basically 43 degrees. Then lastly, angle B, D, C. Angle from B to D, then C. So it's this angle which you found to be Y. So this angle is 18 degrees. So basically, 
this is how you deal with this kind of a question